Good evening, this is Brecht from Excru Games, and today I'm going to talk about first of all what I did earlier today, which is the, basically the app slash minigame demo I worked on, and then later I'm going to talk about some of the ways in which Photon serializes data and keeps uh, is able to synchronize data across the network. I'll keep this video short. Um, so short and concise. So earlier today, first, I worked on some mini game. I converted the the game I had earlier from a first person shooter into a top down shooter, and I had an issue. Basically, the the, the biggest issue I had was that everything wasn't synced properly in the scene because when one person shot, everyone did a raycast to check if there are simulation, if in their local simulation something has been shot but this was just from some tutorial I got but I figured this is not the right way to do it because it's better to assign authority to the, to the client that actually shot to check if someone or something has been shot or not so only do one raycast on the owning client instead of doing raycasts on all the clients which is, I think, it's much better for reliability and probably performance as well. So, I did this on one client, but then I still had an issue with the RPC, which was that I could not get a component, I could not reference a component in an RPC function because I couldn't set it as parameter because parameters don't transfer over RPCs this is because reference is just a, a data uh, sorry, an address variable basically I'm thinking in terms of C++ and um, basically the address in one client isn't the same as the address of the other client so you can't really transfer data that way but Photon has something interesting and that is the Photon, uh, Photon view, view ID and every game object within the simulation, within the local simulation no, within, within the total simulation has a unique uh, view ID so you can have one networked object and this network game object has the same view ID for every client. So what you can do is you can get this view ID by some Photon functions and you can then transfer this view ID to the parameter of an RPC function. This means that now you can reference that game object and you can access the variables that you need to. And this is how I solved my projectiles problem. So now I can fire a projectile and it will... Um, if the client, if, if for the client that fires a projectile it hits, then it will notify all the other clients and you can actually see damage getting subtracted from the damage player. So that's a good thing. This is basically what I did today, then also I tried some other things but I got really frustrated because networking is really hard and there's not much information out there. But thankfully the Discord group is at least a bit helpful, so that's good. Um, Alright, now on to the second part, I'm going to talk about the different ways in which Photon serializes data. So first of all you have on Photon serialized view which is something like a stream that you can write and read from and if the photo view is yours then you can write stream to that data and if it's not but we're talking about one network object here so if that network object is yours you will write the data to the stream if it's not yours you will read data from the stream that you wrote to before so this is a way to keep things synchronized then another way is to use remote procedure procedure calls which is basically like a, a custom function you write that will execute on all the clients 
Um, this is also what is used in the mirror framework, so uh, this is used a lot. It's called client RPC there, and things are a bit different, but it works more or less the same. The one of the big differences is that here you can choose more uh, how the RPC is where it's going to pass and where it's going to end up. Then you have a race event, which is like a way of synchronizing and sending data across a network that does not require a photon view. And then there's custom properties, which is another way of synchronization. And they say this is best for if you don't have to update something as much, but you have to send a lot of data at once, but you don't have to update that frequently. Frequently, then you have to use custom properties. I'm just pulling this stuff from uh, the Photon documentation here. It's called um, gameplay, then synchronization and state. It's a bit what I read about today and learned about. But it's all on the site if you want to, to study it in more depth. But um, this, these are basically the main ways in which which you have which you use to like synchronize data across a network. So to repeat, it's unphoton serialized view, remote procedure calls, raise events, and custom properties. All right, um, this was it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, like the video if you like the video, leave a comment if you want to, and subscribe if you want to subscribe. Uh, thank you guys, have a good evening, and see you next time. Bye.